hold your breath. Dive right in and head 70 feet down. It's life changing. It truly is. We're going scuba diving. Hey there guys, Sydney Kessler here with your Trail Team 11. We're here at the Gray Quarry and we're about to jump on in with the Smoky Mountain Divers, a school bus, an airplane, a houseboat, a jet ski, and so much more, all 70 feet below the water surface right here. We're gonna go find them all. Come and join us. The, the quarry was mined here first in the 70s to pull the rock out for what is now Interstate 26. Brian Chandler is a board member for the Gray Quarry, which is now a not-for-profit entity. We get you a wetsuit, uh, get one that fits you well, and get your equipment for you, make sure that it fits you. So, for the equipment, air, quarry feet, and two and a half to three hours with an instructor in the water. Gotta put the weights in so you sink. Owner of Smoky Mountain Divers, Barry Burton, says you'll spend only $55. The guys set up a four foot platform and that's the first place we take new divers. This is okay? Okay. So when I give you an okay, I'm expecting a response. If you're not okay, check your head. Tell me something wrong. This is up. This is down. Not good or bad. Is it up and down? <laughs> up and down. Okay. We're pumping air in it 24 hours a day, uh, 365 days a year. Regulator in. And you just gotta bend over and take a few breaths just with your with your face over. We're within two degrees of uh, having the same temperature from top to bottom. This time, we're gonna put the mask on, regulator in, then we're gonna go down, sit on your knees, and we're gonna breathe. Which is a bit harder than it looks. Staying at the bottom of the platform is all about managing your buoyancy control device, which as you can see, I'm struggling with a bit, but eventually get. From 10 years old, uh, so we've taught folks that were 72, 75 years old, and we love working with the kids. Okay, now it's time for our first swim. For first time scuba divers, the beginning of your lesson is all about getting comfortable with your gear. And the main thing is don't go too fast. Don't be with somebody that forces you through something. Uh, and we won't do that. Okay guys, we did our little testing here and now it's time to take it to the next level. We're gonna step off of this wooden platform and go to the 12 foot platform. It's time for masks on, regulator in, let's sink. Ooh, that's just a bit uncomfortable. When going down this far, you're going to have to pop your ears. But no worries, now we're good. I mean, okay, I'll get used to that eventually. And look, sometimes you're even gonna get water in your goggles, like I have right now. But as you can see, the instructors teach you how to clear them while staying underwater. Okay, so we just accomplished the 12 foot platform and now it's time to head to the 20. Let's head on down there, regulator in. Of the people that call and want to do a tri-scuba uh, three-hour program with us, about 85% of them wind up coming back to get certified. And check this out. Down here at the 20-foot platform, they have these directions. These tell you where to swim if you want to find some of those sunken treasures. Oh, and watch out for other divers. Everybody wants to know, can, can they come fish it? <laughs> we had to kind of separate, you know. We didn't want people swimming that would interfere with diving. Uh, when you go in and out, you muck up the water and make it not clear for divers. Uh, so we, we, we cater just to divers and dive training so students are allowed with, with, uh, with the dive professional. And now let's head on back up to the top. Oh, but as Brian is telling me right here, not so fast. Rising quickly while this deep can be dangerous. We've got to move slow. So we just passed that 20 foot platform as well. And now we're going to explore even deeper water here at the corner. Remember, it gets up to 70 feet deep here. And there are a whole lot of things under this water for us to explore. We're going to go see what we can find. You ready to go? Mask on. Mask on. Regulator in. Thank <laughs> you. 
and down we go. As you can see, Brian has his hand on me this entire trip down. That's because I'm not experienced enough yet to do this descent. So he's here to guide me and make sure it's done correctly. Brand new divers should never dive this deep without an experienced instructor by their side. The first big thing that they put in the quarry was a school bus. It isn't a wreck and it was prepared particularly for scuba diving. And look here, we found our first sunken treasure, a 1950s fire truck, and there's so much more. And then they put in a twin engine Cessna 310. There's a 40 foot three deck, 40 foot houseboat in there, uh, and lots of little divers treasures. And here's that Cessna that Barry was telling us all about. How neat is this, being 70 feet underwater at a sunken airplane? It almost doesn't feel real seeing all of this down here. And no worries about this guy going anywhere. The cockpit, totally unusable. And the fact that this plane is literally weighed down, so it stays down. So much so that you can come join me up here on top of the plane. Never thought I'd be sitting on top of a sunken Cessna 310 at the bottom of a quarry. Well, it appears we're starting to run low on air, which means it's time to head back up. And for that, my instructor is here to help. But just like before, we've got to wait before we head all the way up to the surface. So we're going to sit here on this 20-foot platform and wait here for three minutes to be exact. And what better way to spend that time than by feeding the fish? They sure do love this Vienna sausage. That was so much fun. 70 feet down we went, but that's not something you can usually do. We went out with a lot of instructors and there's a lot of training beforehand that needs to be done. So if you want to come out here, see the airplane, see the fire truck, and see so much more, come out here to the Gray Quarry, come out with Smoky Mountain Divers, and they'll show you how you can do all of this too. Happy scuba diving, everyone.